Welcome to Inspiring China, a channel that brings you insights of technology, business, and lifestyle. Don't forget to click the subscribe and notification button. Share if you like it. Your support is my motivation. China has a thriving economy, so one may think that there are many job opportunities in the country. That is true. Post COVID, we already saw more commercial activities across different cities. Foreign direct investment or FDI has topped even U.S. last year. BlackRock, Bridgewater, Goldman Sachs, and other foreign financial firms are placing the bets in China. They have already revealed their expansion plan. But that's only half of the answer. There are jobs, but it's not for everyone. As companies also need to hire qualified candidates that support the booming economy. In short, it is a huge job market out there, but highly competitive, demanding, and with plenty of applicants. Nine million Chinese grads left school last year. Now let's narrow down a bit and go straight to the heart of the question. Presumably, you are a foreigner who has interest in exploring work in China. The top ten careers in China for foreigners are shown on this page. Ranging from teaching to IT jobs and the like, this only gives you a sense of what may be available. As I cannot list all the possible jobs out here, now there are demands from certain sector. As you know, China is spending billions of dollars on research and development. In 2018, 554 billion dollars was spent by the Chinese government, which is only marginally behind the number one spender, US. If you are a scientist. You're in luck. A recent Nikkei Asia article on Japan's potential brain drain to China in science research, which is already happening. The compensation is quite generous as the government is encouraging top talents to work in China. For example, the Japanese scientist who landed a job in China got around five hundred thousand dollars funding on his five years research with no restrictions, in addition to his compensation. In a separate episode, I already mentioned the compensation in Chinese tech firms. ByteDance, parent firm of TikTok, offers the highest compensation for grads at fifty-five thousand four hundred U.S. dollars per year. Citic, the top securities firm in China, offers annual basic salary of twenty-three grand, plus discretionary bonus of up to twenty-four months for a freshman. Yes, it helps a lot when applying for jobs. However, if you have some demanding skills like science research, specific and niche engineering posts, Chinese language may not be entirely required by the job. But it's all down to the company. As a tech technology executive, I've hired more than one thousand people in China throughout my years in here, and quite a number of foreigners were in the mix. Only a few of them speak Chinese because I needed that technology skill set that is difficult to find in China at the time. As it is a foreign bank that I worked for, I wanted a foreign mix so it blends well with the Chinese employees and help interact with overseas offices. There are different channels for you to look around for jobs. The best channel is probably Headhunter, which they provide. Specific information to what you're looking for and whether it's feasible or not to work in China. Online recruitment agency is another option, as indicated on the screen. Apart from websites, most of the leading global agencies are all in China, like Hudson, Manpower, Falcon, you name it. The most effective way is probably through your friends and network to find out what's available, or even through your current company that has a branch in China. Maybe they are hiring. And most important of all is to understand what specific jobs that you are looking for, and what you can offer. Do your homework about China job market before even contacting agencies. A trial for newly proposed classification standard for international talents was released by the government in 2019. The new government guidelines provide an assessment to evaluate foreign talents into the country. The three grades, are A, B, and C, gives you an idea when considering getting jobs in China. There is also a quota for each country and region. This also helps you to understand the areas of job demand in China. 
I don't have a crystal ball in front and I can't tell you what the future of China looks like. But what I can tell you is that for the last two decades of working in China has been the most rewarding and satisfying journey of my career. And in terms of living here, quite a similar experience too. This country has never slowed down the development and you can always see things happening and for every second, every week, every month, things are improving. One can live in China with a very decent income and good life. I have many friends from Europe, US, Taiwan, or even Hong Kong has been in China for more than 10 years or some of them even longer than me. If you like Chinese culture or Chinese food, that's a bonus. Let me leave you with my recent comments on China living standard over a LinkedIn post which sums up my observation about China. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and see you in the next episode.